COVID with the COVID-19 pandemic. I believe there's not a perfect way to handle this hard situation such as COVID-19. However, I believe that what I would have done was create the lockdown even before everything was that big because we lost so many lives and we cannot afford that. We have to take care of our people. That's why I would have taken care of them since the beginning. Should countries lock down due to COVID-19 despite the strain on their economies or should they open their borders and risk a potential increase in infection rates? Good evening, universe. Well, coming from India and witnessing what India is experiencing right now, I have realized something very important, that nothing is more important than your health of your loved ones. And you have to draw a balance between economy and health. And that can only be done when the government works with the people hand in hand and produces something that will work with the economy. Thank you. Convince these countries that they're wrong. Women are such an important part of this society. And just because we are not encouraged in the same way that men are, we, are have, we have our potential wasted. The world needs women contributions because we came for some reason. And I invite every woman to understand that we are the leaders of our lives. And yes, we can do a lot for our communities. So please take your power. Cheryl Atkins Green. It is our collective responsibility to start taking action in order to save our planet. Just by the little by little, we can start making a difference. Little by little, by recycling, by teaching young generations about taking care of our beautiful, beautiful earth. We're just here for one time. And this is the time that we have to start taking care of it. Thank you. During this pandemic, during this pandemic, mi país, República Dominicana, my country, Republic of the Dominican Republic, asumió el 23% en pobreza. Has risen to 23% poverty rate. Para mí. Estar aquí al frente de ustedes, pudiendo representar a la República Dominicana. For me, being able to be in front of you guys, representing the Dominican Republic. Es un, un gran orgullo poder decir que va a ayudar a nuestro turismo, que nosotros los seres humanos. That, that makes me incredibly proud that it will help my tourism and that us as human beings. Tenemos que tener en cuenta que son muchas personas que están allá afuera que los podemos ayudar a sobrepasar todas esas cosas. That we have to realize there are so many people out there that need our help and that we can overcome anything. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Free speech and the right to protest. The right to protest. We've seen many protests in the recent days. Especially I want to point out the protests that women have made throughout the years with equal rights. Until today, we lack in them. Because protest helps us raise our voice against what's happening, against inequality. It helps minorities in any democracy to raise their voice. So the protest is very important. But what's not important is when you use it, because with every right comes a responsibility. So use it with power. Thank you. Changing beauty standards. Te, vivimos en una sociedad que cada vez está más avanzada. We live in a society that more and more is more in advance. Y así como hemos avanzado como sociedad, también hemos avanzado en los estereotipos. And as we have advanced as a society, we've also advanced with stereotypes. Hoy en día, la belleza no radica solamente en cómo nos vemos. Nowadays, beauty isn't only the way we look. Para mí, la belleza radica 
en nuestro espíritu, en nuestra alma y los valores con los que nos manejamos. For me, beauty radiates not only in our spirit, but in our hearts and the way that we conduct ourselves. No permitan nunca que alguien les diga que no tienen valor. Never permit someone to tell you that you're not valuable. Thank you. Is Viva Mexico!